A lot of the music we loved growing up wasn't necessarily great. It might not have been groundbreaking or clever, but it was nice enough. Maybe it's time to face up to our past and celebrate our humble musical beginnings, even if they are sometimes a little embarrassing. So why do we love the music we do when we're growing up? And why does it have such a massive impact on us? I'll ask someone who's thought more about music and what it means to us than anyone else I've ever known. I found my diary from when I'm 13. Now, don't show this to anyone, Alan. The Judy Bloom diary. I was 13 and I wasn't allowed to go and see... Better keep it quiet around here because it's, you know, not the place. Wawani at the Orimple Leisure Centre. OK. Well, that's disgusting. I know. Mum wouldn't let me. Look at what I wrote. You know oh! my mother. You know my... Oh, I know Nancy. Oh, I hate mum, I hate mum, <laughs> I hate mum, I hate mum, I hate mum, I hate mum. And what's most telling about this is you haven't even spelt mum with a capital. No. Like, you don't even care. <laughs> you care so little about her. But, uh, no, all I get is, quote, you've got plenty of time for that when you're older, end quote. <laughs> well, when's bloody older? When I'm about 20, I'll probably be allowed to go, but I'll be too old by then. Well, and that's, that's one of the things. Teenagers' brains... Completely different. What do you this mean? is true. Teenagers' brains work in a completely different way to children mm -hmm. and adults. So teenagers are dumber than children. Kenny, you are the undisputed champion of the love duet, a musical form that I must say I, I haven't grown out of. I love to this day. And you know what? I, I love that. To me, that's one of my favourite things to do because, you know, people ask you, do you think you sing better in duets or better alone? Because you have so much freedom alone, you can do what you want to do. But to me, it's like, you know, in high school, when you run the 100 yard dash, and someone says, run as fast as you can, you run as fast as you think you can, but you put someone alongside you who runs faster, and you will run faster. So that's what happens in duets. You go in and you start singing, you sing it, with your heart and you're ready to go home and somebody comes in and they take it to a whole different place. You go, oh, wait, wait, I may need to punch this in and punch that in. <laughs> so it inev inevitably gets better. How do you know who you want to work with or who's going to work well with you? One of the things I learned very quickly, and I've done a lot of this stuff, is you never start with a partner. You start with a song. And you say, who could sing this song well? So every song I've ever done, I've started with the song. Because you were originally going to release Silence in the Stream, which is my f favourite of all of yours. That was the song that changed yeah. my life forever. You were going to release that as a single, just yourself. Well, we, we recorded it with, with Barry Gibb, as you mm -hmm. know. And Barry and I, you know, when you sing with Barry Gibb, you become a BG. That's all there is. You don't have a choice. <laughs> Everything sounds like the Bee Gees. So we went in and I kept singing this song. For four days, I sang this song by myself. And I finally said, Barry, I don't even like this song anymore. And he said, I, I swear just this quick, he said, we need Dolly Parton. 